A spider, a wizard, Emma Stone, winning. John Bates down here with another New Media Stu movie review, and I am joined by the lovely and talented partner in crime over here. And the very dressed up Fran Capo. And why? why are we dressed up? We are dressed up because John and I are in a horror movie together. I do all sorts of bad things, Stu Crew. He does. Bad things. I try to stop him, but does he want to listen? No. Today, we got to see The Amazing Spider-Man. You seriously think I'm a cop in a skin tie red and blue suit? The Amazing Spider-Man stars Andrew Garfield. Emma Stone. Who plays... His, Peter Parker's girlfriend. Gwen Stacy. And also, you see Dennis Leary. It's engaging. Um, I like uh, some of the chemistry between Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. I actually really liked it a lot. I didn't think I would because I actually liked the other Spider-Mans and I thought, oh no, it's a different actor. They made a lot of stuff believable with this if mm -hmm. you're into the idea that genetics you know can change pretty much anything right it was a genetic see. scientist it was experimentation i mean the fact that the webbing wasn't shooting from his hands but from a special device he made right which makes it more believable because mm -hmm. it's like okay he's part spider but what the heck he's figuring out how to work the web Also interesting with this was with regeneration. I mean, one of the guys with the lost arm wanting to, you know, grow that arm back. I think it was interesting. I think there's a lot of cool cinematography in this one. There's mm -hmm. a lot of cool stunts. This movie cost $230 million to shoot. What would we do without her factoids? I don't know. What would I do without them? Do you think we really needed a different take on Spider-Man, considering the original was such a classic? Do you think it was worth spending that amount of money and putting that amount of effort into a film to do a little bit of deviation from the norm. You know what? I actually enjoyed it, so I liked it. Was it worth it? You know, to them, if they make money at the box office, it was worth it. And if you at home enjoy it, it was worth it. Did we need two Snow Whites this year? No. 38 of New York's finest versus one guy in a unitard. We saw it in 3D as opposed to 3D IMAX, which they also have. We'll check that out in another movie. In Stu Crew, by the way, write in the comments below, have you seen 3D IMAX? Because um, we've been invited to go to several IMAX screenings, mm -hmm. and everyone's saying, oh, they're so much better, it's greater 3D and everything, but the timing never works out with our schedule, so and is it worth it? Is it worth changing our schedule for? Now I'm giving this one, gang, three Stu Pots, whopping three. Yeah. Wicker Franny goes one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, number one, for the ever-engaging Emma Stone. Love you, Emma. <laughs> Number two, for a lot of action. And number three, a new start for a superhero classic with a sequel setup. All of you guys, editor Jackie, work your magic. Have them yes. up on the screen right now. Oh, Thank you very much uh, for asking us to see The Amazing Spider-Man. As like you see, it. we take your suggestions, so Stu Crew, please keep posting in the comments below other movies that you want us to see. And thanks to Regal Theater, because we really appreciate and we love you guys and we love the theater. And They've been Regal-tastic to us. Oh, that's a good one. Another fantastic regal test. If you ever go to a movie, go check it out at Regal Theaters. And also, quick thing, make sure to check me out on my Conduit show, live show. Stu Crew, you know all about it. Bring friends uh, every Monday at 9 p.m. and every Thursday at 9 p.m. on Conduit.com slash John Baystown. Until next time, also, make sure to like, share, comment, favorite this video. Send money. Oh, that's a new one. I like that one. That's like, you know. She's clever. <laughs> Just a little I'm bit. tired as can be after this long movie shoot, but she's clever. <laughs> anyway, gang, much love. And respect. Some beach. Hey guys, Daily Grace here telling you to subscribe to John Baystown's channel. Did you do it yet?